Hello, my name is Nicholas Provenzano, and I'm the organizer of EdCamp Detroit. The question I get more than anything is, why did I decide to run an EdCamp? Well, I decided to run an EdCamp because, at the time, there weren't that many EdCamps around, and not a lot of educators can afford to travel to Philadelphia or New York or Kansas City was having one, so I decided what better place to have an EdCamp than in Detroit. Um, I've been connecting with educators from all over the state through Twitter, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring all of those people together for one nice, great event in the city of Detroit. So from there, I was able to really get a hold of some amazing learning experiences that I never would have been able to get anywhere else. Um, I connected with teachers that I'd never met in person, shared ideas with teachers that I just never thought were important enough but were really exciting for other people. So when I look at the learning experiences that came from EdCamp Detroit, I really see that teachers are excited and passionate about what they're doing in their classroom and are just looking for opportunities to share those with others. The traditional conference format unfortunately doesn't give the average teacher the ability to go and share what they're doing in their classroom with a hundred other people. So the EdCamp model allowed people that maybe are intimidated or don't get accepted for local or state conferences to get up in front of a group of uh, fellow educators dedicated and passionate about learning and share what they do in their classroom. Um, one of the other great parts of EdCamp Detroit is that it wasn't just limited to classroom teachers. Uh, I was excited to see superintendents and building principals, assistant principals, counselors, basically anyone that is invested in education had the opportunity to come out and share what they have learned in their setting with everyone else. And I think that's the key part of an ed camp, is that it allows people to share and make connections. And if we're going to grow as a country being connected to one another, I think it's important for all of us to continue to share all of our ideas to improve education, because I think all of us have something to share, and I think all of us have something to learn.